What do you do if you're just visiting Los Angeles for one day, one night, and on a budget? Cars, constellations, and comedy. Welcome back to the vlog. As you can see by my face, it's still hot in Los Angeles and my air conditioning is still not working. But what can you do? 2017 has been a great year thus far. Earlier this year, I got to see my sister Meg when she was visiting Las Vegas. And this past weekend, I got to see my sister Lee and her husband, Jason. They were taking a well-deserved vacation and decided to explore California. They would only be in Los Angeles for one day and one night, and my sister left it up to me to figure out what we would do while they're here. And here's what we did. There are a lot of places to experience in Los Angeles, but these are my suggestions based on our time and our budget. Our budget was a little bit more than bare bones, um, but we definitely weren't trying to break the bank. So I'll keep you informed about where we go and also let you know how much it costs to visit these fun locations. Our first objective was to get a picture with the famous Hollywood sign. You can't come to LA and not get one. It's pretty much a rite of passage for all tourists these days. And let's not forget, it's free. There are a few ways and places to take a picture with the sign, but I wanted the one that was most convenient. Lee and Jason really weren't in the hiking mood, so I needed to find a spot that I could easily find parking and get a really solid picture. I researched a whole lot of YouTube videos and found the perfect spot. 3115 Canyon Lake Drive, Los Angeles, California 90068. The address is down below in the description and all you have to do is copy and paste it into your favorite navigations app. This spot was suggested by Circa News. They created a descriptive video that gives one of the best explanations of why it's so hard to get to the Hollywood sign and gave you three different locations to take pictures. But hold up! The address they give is 3160 North Canyon Drive but it needs to be 3160 Canyon Lake Drive. Adding that one word lake will put you in a totally different place, the right place. Other than that, their video is very helpful, has wonderful graphics, and is totally worth a watch if you plan to go to the spot. Onward to the next stop! After we took some pictures, it was time to go sample some of the wonderful art of Los Angeles and to get some air conditioning and get out of the heat. There are so many places to choose from for fine art in Los Angeles but Jason is a muscle car lover, so our next stop had to be the Peterson Automotive Museum. Located at 6060 Wilshire Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90036. When I first moved to LA, this place looked totally different and has since had an updated artistic makeover. I think the new look is beautiful and elegant, which reflects the art pieces that are held within. It's 15 bucks per person for adult admission, but depending on who you are, you could get a discounted ticket or even get it free. I would suggest going to www.petersontickets.org to see all the options. And depending on when you see this video, the prices might have changed. It also costs 12 bucks per vehicle to park. It just so happens that the Peterson was having a local car show on the deck of their garage that day, and a bunch of local wrench-turning Angelinos came out to show their superior automotive artistic skills. It'd be really hard to choose between all these beautiful machines, but uh, I would choose this one. The Peterson has famous cars, carting cars, old cars, new cars, yellow cars, blue cars, cars that run on sun, cars just for fun, cars with cool flames, cars with fancy names. They've got all kinds of things that roll on wheels. All of them will give you thrills. They're fast and elegant and everything you like. But until gas prices go down, I'll take my bike. That was original poem by Cal Martin Greer. I was inspired by Mike Rowe. He's one of my favorite hosts, and uh, he has a podcast. Uh, if you don't listen to it, you totally should. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Onward to the next stop! After three floors of cars galore, it was time to get some grub. The Peterson has a cafe, but I wanted to take Lee and Jason to my first favorite Mexican LA restaurant. There have been many after, but this was the first. Frank's is located at 363 South Fairfax Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90036. It's a small local favorite with delicious food at a good price. I would recommend their made-to-order guacamole. It's very delicious, very fresh, oh my gosh, and as you can tell by this picture, it didn't last very long. 
On the way back to the car, walking down Fairfax Boulevard, I pointed out my very first apartment in Los Angeles. It's a crazy story for another time about how I landed there, but I would like to thank Kelly Sweet and Jesse O'Neill for allowing me to rent their open bedroom, um, because without them, I wouldn't be here right now. So thanks guys, I appreciate it. I only had enough money for one month of rent, so that means I had one month to find a job and make enough money for the next month's rent. That was the main objective at the time and still is kind of the same now. When walking back, we walked through a little bit of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, also known as LACMA. You can get a list of exhibits, events, and ticket prices at www.lacma.org. After that, we walked just a short distance to the La Brea Tar Pits, which reminds me of one of my favorite movies ever uh, from 1986 called The Labyrinth. Oh my god, so good. There's a scene in the movie where characters travel to a place called the Eternal Bog of Stench, which reminds me of the La Brea Tar Pits. If you haven't seen The Labyrinth yet, do yourself a favor and watch it. It's awesome. It has my number one influential musician, David Bowie, and a whole bunch of other goodness. Check it out. Today, you can see this heartwarming family scene set up outside an open pit. The La Brea Tar Pits also has a museum. Their website is www.tarpits.org. Once we got back to the car, we decided to take a breather. But then, we're back from the break, and we're headed to the Griffith Observatory. Located at 2800 East Observatory Road, Los Angeles, California, 90027. It's a great place to watch the sunset as the city lights up. I would suggest checking it out online at www.griffithobservatory.org to see all the upcoming events and hours of operations. Oh yeah, did I mention it's free? Which is always good to me. They have exhibits inside and they also have this really huge telescope you can look through on top of the roof. Traffic was really congested and parking was very sparse due to a concert that was happening at the Greek Theater located right down the hill. Uh, so just give it a heads up. That might be a problem. On the weekends, you can expect more traffic, but you can still get there. Onward, Onward to, the to the next stop. stop! As night fell, we grabbed a quick bite to eat, then we headed down Sunset Boulevard to the Comedy Store, where we saw Pauly Shore and a solid group of really good comedians. We bought our tickets online ahead of time at 20 bucks per person. There's also a two drink minimum per person. And if you don't drink, I believe you can order food instead, because they can't make you drink alcohol, right? Drinks range from about eight to sixteen dollars a pop. So if you order two of the cheapest drinks, plus tip, plus ticket, you're looking at about forty dollars minimum per person. For Los Angeles on a Saturday night, Sunset Strip with that kind of lineup, it's a pretty good deal. Their site is www.thecomedystore.com. We were blessed to find some cheap street parking on Sunset. Usually it's like 15 to 20 dollars for parking lots, so keep an eye out for those street spots. I'd been to the comedy store a couple of times, but I was excited tonight to see Polly Shore. I remember him from movies back in my childhood, like Encino Man from 1992 and Son-in-Law from 1993. And one of my favorite actors from the movie Son-in-Law is Lane Smith. He was an awesome actor who created memorable characters. One of my favorite movies that he was in that had a huge impact on my life was The Mighty Ducks. I'll never forget that movie. It's, it's an awesome movie. I think everybody should watch it. And uh, I'll miss him. So we get into the comedy store and we get wonderful seats right in the middle of the second row of general admission. Most of the crowd and myself thought everybody did a great job. There were a few audience members that uh, were picked on or directly um, affected by humorous remarks from comedians, but you know, if you can't take a joke, uh, you probably shouldn't go to a comedy show. So bam, if you don't have a lot of time in Los Angeles and you want to pack in as much of fun stuff as you can, here's a couple suggestions. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this coming up, and next week I start shooting new episodes for my other channel, Beyond the Pavement, where I give tours of local trails in Los Angeles to get you inspired, to get you out there into nature, see what's great, great and, wonderful and wonderful about, about it, it, because it is. And uh, check it out if you get time, have a good one, and take it easy.
Vale, ¿verdad? Eh, 